Hello everyone! <laughs> so, we're doing a new series on dating in 2019. So it'll be like dating for millennials, dating for African Americans, dating for every race, um, older, younger, 20s, mid 20s, 30s, younger 20s, college, we're gonna cover a bunch of different topics and I'm gonna have different people on. So I'm starting today with my friend Sam and I have another person, um, my friend Pearl, who will be joining us. And we're just gonna do some free talk and free conversations. And then we're also going to have a portion where I'm gonna ask them some specific questions. So, introduce yourself. Well, hello everybody. My name is Sam, um, 27 years old. Originally, originally born in Nigeria, uh, came here when I was around five years old. Uh, so, DMV native, pretty much my uh, most of my childhood and adult life. Uh, and yeah, nice to meet How you guys. How old are you? I think I already said that. Twenty-seven. Oh. <laughs> Twenty-seven years old. And I'm for those who, didn't, who, who haven't heard before. I'm twenty-six. So. Let's just start by talking about our dating experiences. So, what's one way that you would describe, or one word that you would describe dating for you in general? Like, just to cover it. Like, if someone's like, how do you feel about dating? What would you say? Um, I, I would say in one word, you said? Yeah. Like, how would you describe um, your dating life in one word? An experience. <laughs> Okay, so how has dating been for you? It's been an experience, like <laughs> I mentioned. <laughs> um, so, like with dating, you get to come across uh, different personalities. Uh, that could be either a good or a bad thing, depending on you know the kind of personality you meet. Um, but for but overall, it's been um, uh, interesting. interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I would describe mine as interesting. Um, you take the good with the bad. I've had some good experiences where we just didn't work out. And then I've had some good experiences where we did work out. And then I've had some terrible experiences. And then I've had some like decent experiences, I guess you could say. Well, I would say that uh, my experiences have been uh, mainly good, but following that, uh, leading up to like relationships and stuff uh, that some didn't really take a turn for the for the better but um, all in all like I learned through all the um, experiences I've been through and uh, I'll take that into the relationships I mean or dating experiences that I encounter in future endeavors right i feel the same way i feel like i've learned a lot also i've learned a lot about other people and i've also learned a lot about myself and then even like what i'm gonna expect or require in further dating and how maybe i have like sold myself short or lowered my expectations a lot in the past so there is a disclaimer to this video and that is we're not perfect so if at any point um, we're covering topics and it may seem like we're portraying ourselves to be these perfect people and then someone's watching like oh no I used to date her and she is not like that or I used to date him and he is not like that like this is a disclaimer now we aren't perfect and we're not portraying ourselves as being perfect um, we're just kind of giving our take or like our perspective and opinion on our experiences also um, this isn't a video meant to bash anyone either, so, um, yeah, hopefully we don't, like, hurt anyone's feelings or just, we just want you to know that we're not, um, uh, talking that. about anyone in particular or, like, trying to be petty, I guess. So, yeah. I um, second that, <laughs> So... My first question would be, um, when did you start dating? Like, what age? Well, 
you can say like 16 when uh you know you're when what was it? yeah 16 17 around the time i got my license because you know that's when you start you know going on your own and of course well I, i'm african so like i was expected to be in a house at a certain time um I don't know how it is for all other cultures, but like I was like brought up in a strict household, so like anything past like eight or nine, I was in uh I was expected to be in the house by eight or nine. So like movies and uh, such and stuff like that, that's what I was limited to. So I, yeah, I, I don't know. I, I was kind of like di <laughs> di di diverting off subject, but um, Basically yeah, 16, 16, 16 right. yeah. Yeah, I think I dated, I started dating around the same time, like, in high school, maybe, like, 10th grade, so, yeah, but it, I really, like, don't even know if that, I could call that dating now that I look back, because, it's more of a, like, a yeah. field trip, <laughs> yeah, compared to dating now, so, um, next topic, do you feel like when you date now, you are, having success with the women that you meet like do you feel like it's kind of how do i want to put this like do you feel like you're gonna meet someone like you're on the path to meeting someone or do you feel like it's just like um disappointment after disappointment like are you enjoying dating or you finding women that are like you know what you're looking for in a woman or is it kind of hard? Um, like I mentioned, like I come across different personalities, so uh, I come across different personalities when when I meet new people. So uh, I I would say, like for the mo most part, I, I always look forward to I, will, I always look forward to dating because, like again, like I I I want to see what a person is about, and like I'm. You like, like meeting I, new people. I like meeting new people. Mm -hmm. yeah. And having the different experiences. And having like different different personalities, different experiences. Uh, so yeah, it's been it's been mainly good. And like I, of course, I would like to continue dating until you know I you find, find some I find someone that I could build build a future with. So right, I feel like um, it's. Eh, I definitely feel like I'm gonna find the right person, but I also feel like. Whew, it is a struggle. I would agree. <laughs> I would definitely agree with that. So, yeah, I wouldn't say it's going too great, but I'm going to stay positive, okay? So, the next thing I wanted to inquire about is, do you feel like you're willing to build with someone? Like, say you meet a girl who just isn't where you're at financially, isn't where you're at spiritually, um just not really where you would want the woman of your dreams to be are you willing to kind of like support her and work with her and teach her some things and motivate her and just kind of wait until she gets and develops like into the woman that you hope for or are you like no like once i meet you i want you to have a career or have a career in the making i want you to have a job right now i want you to have your own transportation i want you to have your own place i want you to have a degree or certificate or whatever like how do you feel about building with someone because i know a lot of people are like you know i don't want someone who is still trying to get there because they may hold me back or i may find myself not being able to partake in the activities or things that i want because i'm waiting on this other per other person so for me um i feel like just li life in general is just, it's all about evolution so i feel like if you're willing to like learn and you know um you just learn different things and willing to get better as time goes on uh, i feel like i could i could work with that but if you're not if you're just stuck in your ways and like you're just like oh okay this is how it's gonna be i'm i, I don't support like whatever um you're talking about then i don't see me building with that person you know so like i just feel like 
okay, you could be at one place in your life and like it, life happens. So like things don't always turn out the way that like you would expect it to turn out in your head. But I feel like as long as you're willing to work with what you have and willing to um, just understand me and understand yourself and willing to get better within yourself, I could, I could definitely work with that. I think I agree also. I've always been one to say, you know, I don't expect anyone to come to me totally put together and I'm willing to work with you and to teach you things, motivate you, help you out. However, I've been in multiple situations where I've had that mindset and then a guy takes advantage of it and it's like, oh yeah, you know, I want to do this. I'm this type of guy. I'm going to do this. And then it's like that time frame rolls around and it's not done. And then three months after it's still not done I and think, then it's a year later and it's still not I done think I, at, that, at that point you got to like just discern within yourself like okay am i willing to stick around even longer for this person or um well you have to you have to like know within yourself all right this guy's um, he's whoever the per person of interest is um is it worth it is it, is it yeah. worth it is do you do you see like uh, it's one thing for somebody to say oh they're gonna do this and that but like do you see progress or do but you see that's the thing that i'm talking about like as far as the like allowing it in the first place because essentially you know the question was are you willing to work with someone while they you know build themselves and become who they want to be so if i come in with that mindset and i'm like yes then i'm believing and trusting that this guy is going to live up to what he says and he promises and then he doesn't, it's kind of like, okay, well, I did allow it in the first place. Of course I can leave now, but it almost makes you wonder if in the future you should have that mindset because you don't want to get taken advantage of and you don't want someone who's like, oh yeah, like I promise in five months I'm going to get this degree or in 10 months I'm going to, you know, find a good job or whatever. And then it's like, okay, now I said I would allow you to now I've invested my feelings you've invested right. yours it's kind of hard to back out then but then again you don't want to be stuck with someone who's like making all these promises and they're just not about it you know I'm more like actions speak louder than words and a lot of times right. you know people will tell you a lot of things that they say they're gonna do and it just doesn't work out like that so I think now I'm more mindful about even having that mindset in the first place like I kind of need to just know you better starting right. off and know if you are a man of your word I think that's where like dating oh sorry <laughs> Hi. so this is Pearl Hi. she just joined us but what were you saying I was, I was about to say is uh, I think that's where like dating uh I think essentially like dating is like the um it's kind of like the idea of like getting to, to know someone before you dive into a relationship and like you have to like know what this person is about and um if if you see things like start to trend upward then like that's when you're, you're like okay i'm willing to work with this but if you're already like heads over heels and like the relationships uh like already like set like you you just you're just disappointing yourself at the end of the day because it's like okay i'm all in but i don't see any progress but um you said you were gonna do this before we uh before we committed to each other and I don't see anything going yeah. on and that's the hardest part though because that happens a lot you know it does happen a lot yeah. so I think like essentially what dating is is like trying to start uh, getting to know someone and get, getting to know like what this person is about and um like you start to like see those characteristics of uh, is he really what he's saying he's about or I guess he's just like putting up a front right. and um I think that's that's where you just, where you discern okay is this person worth my time or you know should I cut this loose right so we're gonna ask Pearl the same question okay yes yeah. so <laughs> well first introduce yourself hi y'all I'm Pearl I'm 27 and I'm a licensed massage therapist um, and I'm here to join y'all today yay <laughs> so the first question we did ask was um, Describe dating for you in one word. 
Um, it is confusing <laughs> in one word. Yes, yeah, confusing, especially in this day and age because nobody really wants to commit mm -hmm. and make that leap of faith. Everybody kind of just, not everybody, but most people nowadays just want to kind of like play the fence and play the field and play with people's feelings and emotions because they don't want to commit or because of their own insecurities. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Honestly, in this day and age, um, I have been in a relationship pretty much throughout college, and I recently just got out of a relationship, so for me, dating right now is kind of like seeing what I would want mm -hmm. in a partner. Right. I'm not like you're a little bit more serious now. Yeah. You, you're not willing to deal with so much like, eh, eh, it's kind of like, look, exactly. this is what I want, exactly. this is what I'm going for. That's where I'm at now too. I feel like I did let um, a lot of things slide before that I didn't really want, but I was just kind of willing to deal with it. But now I feel like I am a little bit more serious in, um, and like particular in what I want. So, yeah. So um, what we were just talking about was, do you feel like you at this point are willing to date someone who's like in the making like are you willing to wait for someone to become who they are or are you like looking for someone who's like pretty much like in their career locked in has their own place has their own car like ready to go you know well for me right now i literally just turned 27 like literally maybe like two three weeks ago airy, airy season <laughs> yay so for me right now i'm more looking for someone who's more stable because i have done the you know dating someone who's trying to figure themselves out i'm trying to date people who are like more mature and in their like 30s between 30 to 35 right now because my age group not saying all but they're a joke <laughs> you know i mean they're you know they're trying to figure themselves out that's great and all but i've done that and i'm i'm over that because i figured myself out i'm not here to raise a man you know i want a man who knows what he wants at this point like i don't want a man who's like oh i don't know if we should do this that and the third like it's just not gonna work for me in this day and age yeah i agree so what do you guys think about dating i know you just mentioned dating older than you yeah because at this point a lot of us are like a lot of us that are serious about dating are like we're serious so the assumption that you will make is, okay, well, if I'm serious, someone older than me mm -hmm. is probably also going to be more serious than someone my age or younger, which is just an assumption because it doesn't have to be true. I'm sure there's people my age or younger than me that are serious about dating. So with that being said, have you dated older? And if you have, what was your experience? Um, most of the people that I date are older than me, but... Uh, I would say that it's not that much different because not saying all men but most men their maturity level begins like at a higher age level um, no offense <laughs> but like if a 27 year old man not saying all men but most 27 year old men don't have the same maturity level or mentality as me as far as going into a relationship like my ex he's 30 and he's still trying to figure himself out so i'm not saying that all older <laughs> men are you know end all be all but you know that's pretty much what i'm looking for for somebody to be more mature or they could be my age but i haven't met them yet so right. i i can't say anything about that <laughs> what about you well, me personally uh i've never dated anybody that was older than me. i've never dated anybody that was older than me um but for me, I, I feel like um, it doesn't really matter the age. I feel like it's more of the mentality you have. Because there's some, there's some 50 year olds that, 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 that haven't figured themselves out. So um, yeah, I definitely think that it's, it's more about like where you're at in your life. Have you, like, do, you have, do you have an idea of where you are? And um, yeah, that's pretty much it. So I've dated older too. I think the oldest guy I've dated was like 36. And um, I've dated like a 31 year old and maybe like a 33 year old. 
So, um, it wasn't like intense dating. Like we weren't like five months, three months. It was more like a few dates here and there. We kept in contact on the phone. We texted, stuff like that. And my experience was sneaky. I felt like all three of them kind of lived like a double life. Like one of the guys, when I first met him, he told me he had a son. And then like two months in, he starts telling me about dropping his daughter off at practice. And I'm like, oh, so you have a daughter too. You know what I mean? Right. So it was kind of like I kept finding things out. Then the other guy who was 31, he had um, a kid and he said that, you know, he wasn't dealing with his child's mother. But then that turned into like her showing up a lot and like being in the background on FaceTime. So I was like, you know, I feel like a lot of older guys maybe don't take me seriously because um, at that time, I think it was like 24, 25, and maybe they didn't see in me what they were looking for in a woman or like a more settled woman or something. Not that I was like wilding out and immature, but I think that there is a like gap between the mid 20s and the mid or early 30s and so um i just felt like i don't know maybe they were looking for some fun in the midst of their like seriousness or like life issues i just didn't really feel like they were being upfront and honest and like ready to really date you, you know what i mean and i get that because um a lot of times, nine, ten, nine times out of ten, a lot of older men try to date younger women because they're looking for fun, you know? Oh, because mm -hmm. they are looking for fun. And so that's why if they wanted something more serious, they'll probably try to go for someone more of their age group or a little bit more older than them right. because they feel like they're more serious. But that's not the case mm -hmm. nine times out of ten. They just, in their mindset, that's how they perceived it from the get so that's probably how it's gonna end up yeah. right so what do you guys think about um physical attraction versus spirituality like do you feel like okay obviously i think we're attracted to people initially because we find them physically attractive yeah but then afterwards like how fast does that wear off or how important is that to you before you're like okay no like I need a real spiritual bond I need to really connect with this person or are you more like okay he's nice looking or she's nice looking we don't really mesh but I'm gonna keep this going because this is like a arm piece this is my arm candy you know this dude looks good this girl looks good like we're gonna push through we like each other enough we're compatible enough let's just make this work um, well, for me uh, I think I'm be I'm, I'm beyond the uh, physical physical uh, attractiveness so to speak um, I'm 27 so like I'm not saying like I'm, I'm old, but you know, I'm old enough to like know that, okay, like we have to look, we have to look beyond the physical realm and like start to be, uh, and start to uh, like in, inquire about uh, like what this, what this, whoever you're dealing with is about um, because like that's, that's the person you're gonna be, you know, having re relations with at the end of the day. So, um, yeah, I, 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 I would say that like physical attractiveness, that's one thing because like, especially for a male, uh, you know, because we're, we're driven by like, you know, uh, physical appearance. Phys uh, appearance. <laughs> so yeah, that, that would, that, that would, for me, it's I, like the I, first I, thing that I catches kinda, your eye. Yeah. I kind of like think differently because, um, I don't know, I'm just like a dif different kind of person. Like I, I, most guys will think, okay, all right, she, she looks good. And I could like deal with uh, everything else because, like, it's, it's she, like you mentioned, she's an arm piece. But like for me, like I'm I'm more like you know beneath the surface level, and like I want to get to know you and what you're about. So. Yeah. What about you? Um, for me, like initially, of course, when you see someone, you see appearance. You see, okay, I'm attracted to them. But for me, it can't go beyond that if, like, I, I'm the type of person I have to get to know, like, 
what's beyond the appearance like I need to know what's your life's purpose your soul what's your aura I'm into like auras and chakras and everything so if I feel like a bad negative aura around you it's not gonna it's right. not even gonna go past the first date I'm not gonna lie because what what do we have to talk about we have nothing to talk about you have nothing to show for I mean you look good but I mean there's right. millions of men right. who look good out there in the world like what's so special about you right. yeah I totally 100% agree like honestly a lot of my girlfriends have always told me like Tanika you like ugly dudes and even my guy friends they're like you know your taste in dudes is just not good but for me I've always been a personality girl like I always 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 choose the guy that I can relate to makes me laugh like you said I'm big on like auras and spirits and vibes and I feel like I mean, being that you're really attractive, that just doesn't always do it for me. Now, don't get me wrong. Of course, I've dated attractive guys. Of course, I am attracted to guys. Um, but, yeah, it's just not the end-all, be-all. And I'll give you guys a short story. So, one of the dates that I had probably like two or three years ago... So my friend um, introduced me to this guy and she was like, oh my gosh, he's so cute. You have to talk to him. So I was like, okay, I'll take his number. We went on a date, right? He was very attractive. Like to this day, he's probably one of the most attractive guys that I've dated. But his vibe, his character, like his personality, when I say trash, garbage like one of the worst personalities I've ever met so we hung out for like a few hours that day and I did not want anything else to do with him like I was like delete the number like no like I wanted to run as fast as I could and that taught me a really valuable lesson because even though I'm not the girl that's gonna chase after guys for their looks like that's just not me and I wasn't then and I'm not now but it taught me a valuable lesson because I'm like wow like that's crazy how terrible his personality was even though he looked so good and i was like maybe he's just used to girls falling all over him because he does look that good and he is that attractive but i was just like wow like that's sickening and it almost makes you makes that person ugly after that right. you know what i mean it is so yeah it's definitely important for me to have a spiritual connection and i feel like that's very rare too like out of all the guys I've dated and the relationships I've had, I might have had like three strong spiritual connections. But other than that, it's like we were compatible. That's mm -hmm. it. You know, it's hard to find somebody that you really connect with and it's like y'all are on that same medium, you know. So, um, is there anything else you guys wanted to add or did you want me to hit you with another question? Oh, I'll hit it right can, on the nail. Just I mean. keep on bringing the questions on. <laughs> okay, so this is a good one because I've had, I have my opinion on it, but I've had a lot of people try to sway my opinion. So the question is, we're all college educated, and um, a lot of people tend to feel like you should only date in your like education or professional bracket. So a lot of times I date guys who don't have a college education and um, a lot of people see something wrong with that. They're like, you know, you guys aren't going to be able to connect mentally and if you guys get married, like you're just not going to understand each other. He isn't going to understand you. Your intellect is different than his intellect. Um, you're going to be more open minded. Like basically y'all just aren't going to connect because he doesn't have an education and I always felt like you know well there's a lot of people without an education that are very intelligent that self-educate that can still be compatible with me and there's also a lot of guys who went to college that aren't the best options <laughs> at all because I've dated the college guys and then I've dated guys that haven't been to school and some of the college guys aren't like doing it you know what I mean so what do you guys feel about that I think it, it kind of goes hand in hand with uh, what we were talking about with uh, physical attractiveness. Like you could, 
you can uh, like you see what you want and like it looks attractive if you see like that college degree oh i majored in uh biology he majored in biology biology we're compatible but then you get to know uh you get to know him beyond that and you see like you like you mentioned you could like see right like right off the back the first date that like you don't want anything to do with it um but then like you could get somebody that has only a high school uh high school uh degree i mean uh, high school diploma and um like for instance like rest in peace Nip nipsey hustle for instance i'm pretty sure like he didn't go to college but like you see like he's Probably one of the most intelligent brothers that like I've come across, and uh, Lauren London, uh, actress, Hollywood, and I think like they they, they were like meant meant to be be together. Mm -hmm. So I, I I just don't think that education has anything to do with it. I think it's it's all about like that um that those kindred spirits at the end of the day. Right. So it's not like criteria for you. So if you have like a pool of five girls and four of them don't have a degree like you're not gonna go for that fifth one because she has a degree i'm, I'm not like it doesn't it doesn't matter to me at the end of the day it's all about like i said like the, the spiritual connection and like do i mess with you mass communication whatever the degree you have it doesn't matter i think uh, what matters is like this uh, okay um the vibe at the end of the day mm -hmm. It's funny how you mention that because it's like um, some people have these college degrees and they're book smart and everything, but they lack common sense. Like you can't even really hang out with them yeah. without, you know, feeling like, oh, I just need to go home because this person is just really annoying or like they just really just don't get it in the head. So college degree doesn't even matter. Most of my, um, the people that I've dated in the past, they don't even, they never even went to college and they're very intelligent. Um, even a recent ex of mine, we used to meditate together. Um, we used to just do spiritual stuff and like have deep conversations about life and stuff like that. Some people just, it doesn't matter if you have a degree or not. Right. Yeah, it really doesn't matter. <laughs> and I think even for the financial aspect, like a lot of people, aside from like the intelligence portion, um, the financial aspect can be like a concern also because a lot of people assume like, oh, if you have a college degree, you're more likely to bring in more income, which could be like a concern for some people. But I think for me, I do believe that like with a trade, with a certificate, with the right um, training and experience, like people can make good money without having that degree. So that's not too much of a concern either, as long as you're with someone who's like. <laughs> as long as you're with someone who is, you know, in a career, has a stable job, hard working, that type of thing. I think you all will still be stable enough with both incomes that it'll be fine. Yeah, and it's funny how you mention like hard work people. Like I can give a really good example with my mother actually. She came to this country. She never even went to school, like high school, none of that. But right now she owns her own restaurant. Right. So it's all through hard work and dedication. You don't have to have a college degree to you know feel like somebody can't date you because they they went to school or you can't date someone because they went to school it's just about determination and motivation in life honestly mm -hmm. so we're gonna um end this soon but we'll end on one last question so for me this is very like it hits home for me because i've dealt with a lot of guys that i didn't know it then but now, after doing my own healing and a lot of research, I realize there's a lot of broken people, a lot of broken men, and a lot of broken women. And I think that it really affects dating. I think that um, a lot of people are bringing things from their childhood and their past relationships and just trauma in general. And it's literally making them like just hurt everyone. Like they just wanna roll just wilding out 
it's like you're dating people but you have no intentions of loving them or caring about them even if you don't want to fall in love like it's people literally out here dating that are like i don't care if i hurt this person in any way you know what i mean so the question would be how much do you guys think that childhood trauma or like any past trauma affects healthy relationships or being able to build healthy relationships like have you guys been in situationships relationships um dating experiences where you felt like it may have ended because they were so broken and like in turmoil that they never even had the opportunity or took the time to actually try and love or try and build like it's kind of like you're just there to be there in the moment and then when you get fulfilled in whichever way you got fulfilled you're done and you're leaving other people in broken pieces have you guys experienced that yeah actually <laughs> um in a most recent relationship um i feel like he went through a lot in his childhood that he didn't internally deal with and he had to work on himself in order to love me the right way so initially that's honestly why we ended things and and I appreciate him taking the time to say listen the problem isn't with the relationship it's with me and right. I need to work on me in order to even be with anybody and I really appreciated that but there are people out there who's been been hurt or just had scars from their childhood who initially haven't you know discussed it or gone through it you know they haven't acknowledged they've not it in acknowledged it and it's not to say this is their stereotypical thing but most people with color don't believe in therapy and therapy is a powerful tool i feel like everybody should go through it even if you feel like oh you're this happy person there's always some deep seated insecurity or trauma that you've been through that you need to work through yep. in order to even be friends with anyone be have a real healthy relationships with family members boyfriends girlfriends friends anybody really so. i totally agree um well i haven't been in a um any kind of um situation like that where uh Whatever it, well, whatever it is uh, you're done with and you dealt with in the past affect the, the, the um, present condition, but I, I do know like a lot of it, it's I know I know a lot of people who've been through that and um, especially like with like um, like people that come from abusive households they tend they tend to. I know, was gonna understand. say like even domestic violence, yeah. like maybe a girl who has right. experienced right. that, and then she brings that to your relationship. Uh, yeah, I was about to say like um like even with like like you said a female who who maybe um went through uh, something with their father or whoever may, may male figure in their life who may have um you know put her through an abusive relationship. She just, she might tend to like allow that in the relationship she's had like during her adulthood and that's not um that's not really healthy for uh whoever that relationship like starting new relationships right. right i agree i've definitely experienced it and i've had one guy actually be able to so we were talking for a while and then he showed me his true colors and then we stopped talking and then we started again at one point he was actually able to say like you know I, I was like, why did you act like that? And he was like, I didn't even know myself then. Like, I didn't even love myself, you know? And I was like, wow, like, that's really man of you um, and mature of you to say that and even be able to realize that and take accountability because I did realize it later. I realized he was like hurt, he was in turmoil and that's why he was treating me like that. But a lot of guys will never admit that. 
Like they'll literally be like, no, I did it because you didn't do this or I did it because you weren't enough of this or I did it because no, you did it because you're hurt. You've been through so much trauma. You are running from it. You don't want to acknowledge it. You don't want to get help with it. And in turn, one, you're only hurting yourself. So every female after me is maybe gonna have more money, maybe gonna be prettier, maybe gonna have a nicer house, whatever. But you're gonna hurt her too because you're still hurt. So it's not about, you know, oh, well, this girl was crazy or this girl, like, no. You have to figure out what the real underlying issue is. And a lot of times it's you. That's why after every um, relationship I'm in, I take time to reflect not only on what happened, but maybe where I might have went wrong. Maybe things that I'm doing that are toxic to myself, to the relationship, and to other people. And I think people need to take more time to really like evaluate themselves and do self healing. Like that's so important. Like you said, with minorities, especially, especially in the African American community, we're so deeply hurt by like our mothers, our fathers, our family members, abandonment issues, daddy issues, mommy issues, rape, incest, abuse, domestic abuse, even childhood traumas of like dealing with a narcissistic parent or like, um, it's just, it's a lot. And I feel like no one wants to deal with them. They just want to push it off on everyone else. And it's not going to take you anywhere. You know, you're never going to have a successful relationship if you don't deal with your issues and that's why I feel like I'm so confident now that I will find the right person eventually because every relationship I've had I take a year or more off to evaluate things and I've worked on myself I've done like a lot of research um, on things and found out things about myself that I didn't know it was like you know how you um, pinpoint issues but you're like I don't know what this is or I don't know why I do this and then you kind of do your research and you're like, oh, that's what that is. That's what that stems from. So now I know going into my next relationship, I'm a better me. And even without dating, you want to be a better you. So I do encourage everyone to um, do more like self-reflection and self-healing so that you're a better person for your next relationship. So that was it for our first segment. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Dang. Were you loving it? I was. I was. <laughs> well, we will pick up again and we'll have like different topics, different people. And I hope to at one point have like a larger group discussion with other um, ethnicities also because I kind of want to, you know, get their outlook on it also. And then we'll have like more guys, more girls. So we'll have like different perspectives and opinions and stuff. But that's it for today. Thank you guys. Ha, ha, ha.